everyone welcome to the science practical class today we are going to study the different parts of a compound microscope firstly let's understand why we need a microscope you know there are some organisms which are called microorganisms why we call them as microorganism because they are very very small that we cannot see them through the naked eyes and to see them we need a tool and that tool is a microscope why this microscope is used because it actually helps to magnify the object size so that we can see it now with this microscope we can not only see microorganism but we can see different types of cells and tissues as well you know that our body is a multicellular body means our body is made up of many many cells can you see those cells no why we cannot see those cells because those cells are also very very small and we can see those cells only with the help of a microscope so now we know that why we need a microscope now let's study about the different parts of it now here you can see that the different parts of a compound microscope can be broadly classified into two categories one is the mechanical parts which includes foot or base arm stage clips nose piece body tube adjustment knobs diaphragm and condenser and the second one is the optical parts which includes three major parts one is the eye piece which is also known as ocular then we have objective lenses and mirror let's start with mechanical parts first one is the foot or base you can see here the foot or base it is a u shaped structure and supports the entire weight of the microscope then we have arm the entire microscope is handled by this strong and curved structure next we have stage here you can see it is a flat rectangular plate and this is a permanent slide which contains the cells or microorganisms that we need to study we keep this slide on the stage and fix it with the help of these clips clips are used to keep the slide on its position so that it does not move here and there while observing slide next we have nose piece as you can see here it is a circular and rotating metal plate it has three holes where we can place objective lenses two are already here and one is left empty then this structure is called the body tube it is a hollow tube and can be shifted up and down by using the adjustment knob now come to these adjustment knobs this larger one is the coarse adjustment knob and is used to move this body tube up and down and this smaller one is fine adjustment knob it is used for sharp and fine focusing so that we can see the cells clearly these all were the mechanical parts of a microscope now we will discuss the optical parts optical parts means the lenses or the mirrors associated with the tool and here we have three optical parts number 1 is the eye piece it is also known as ocular you know why it is called an eye piece because this lens is closer to the eye while observing a slide and similarly these lower lenses are called objective lenses because they are closer to the object that we will observe now here you can see that something is written on it it is 15x 
This means it magnifies the object size to 15 times. Similarly, we have eyepiece of 10x also, which magnifies the image of the object by 10 times. We use them according to our requirements. Now here on the objective lenses also you can see some markings. Here it's mentioned 10 and on this it's mentioned 45. These are the magnification powers of the objective lenses. Now the third optical part is the mirror. You can see that this mirror can be rotated. It consists of two types of mirror. One side has a plane mirror and the other side has concave mirror. We use these mirrors for reflection of light into the microscope. With this, the parts of the microscope is done.